In this video, we'll look at whether Na2CO3 is soluble or insoluble in water. This is sodium carbonate, and the short answer is that it's soluble in water. There's three ways we can figure that out, though. We have these rules here, the solubility rules, and if we have these memorized, these can help us figure out solubility. So we look down our rules and group one elements. Sodium, that's in group one. So we would expect compounds with sodium would be soluble in water. You might note that Later in the rules, we see that most carbonates are insoluble, except group one. That's where our sodium is. So based on these rules, it should be soluble in water. We can also take a look at a solubility chart. So here's our solubility chart. Positive ions here at the left. We'll find sodium right here, sodium, Na+. Plus. Then we'll find carbonate, the CO3, and right here, carbonate, CO3, 2 minus. So we go over, we go down, and we can see that S right there. That S tells us that sodium carbonate is going to be soluble in water. When we put sodium carbonate in water, it'll dissolve and it'll break apart into its ions. We'll have Na+, plus. we'll actually have two Na+, plus ions, sodium ions, and then we'll have the carbonate, CO3, 2 minus. Those will be aqueous. They'll be dissolved in water. We'll write a little AQ after them to show that. There's one more way that we could figure out whether Na2CO3 is soluble or insoluble. We could just get some solid sodium carbonate and put it in water. We would expect, based on the solubility rules in our solubility chart here, that it would be soluble in water. This is Dr. B answering the question whether Na2CO3 is soluble or insoluble. It is soluble. Thanks for watching.